All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And tonight we're going to be unboxing yet another physical media variant of 2008's Diary of the Dead. This one happens to be a international release. It is a steelbook release, which predates the newest Walmart steelbook by several years, I think. It might have even come out in 2008 when the original movie was released. I'm not really sure. I'll have to dig deeper into those details. Uh, let me know in the comments below if that's accurate, how old this is. But with that said, let's unbox this package and see what we can see. Okay, this thing open. I'm always a little bit worried when they send them in these like manila envelopes, especially from overseas, because I'm always worried they're going to get banged up in processing and shipment. But with all that said, this one looks like it's actually in pretty good condition. You guys ready? Here we go. Drum roll, please. And boom. There is the international steelbook release of Diary of the Dead. This is a DVD. It is not a Blu-ray. So I'm assuming this probably came out in 2008, maybe 2009, maybe 2010. I'm not really sure. But since it's not Blu-ray, it's exclusively DVD. I'm assuming it's, it's pretty old at this point uh, since there's no Blu-ray in this package. But yeah, that's very cool. I wanted to, I'm trying to, I'll probably, I'll probably never complete my Diary of the Dead physical media collection because who knows how many variants there are, but I want to have as many as possible that I can at least, you know, palpably obtain without, you know, going to these places myself. eBay is a powerful tool for collecting stuff like this. So with that said, I'm very, very pleased to own this. So there's the front. See that shiny steel book cover. I'm assuming this chick zombie right here is sort of the de facto icon of the film because she's sort of on a lot of the marketing campaign. Very freaky looking zombie. I'm pretty sure she's from the opening scene with the news reporter. I think she's the one who attacks the news reporter, but I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's her. But yeah, freaky looking zombie on the cover front and center. Here's the spine. Uh, and there she is again, right there. And here's the back. This actually says limited edition 004723. So I don't know how many they ended up making of these, of this run, but it's very cool that it's limited, which means it wasn't really a mass produced, at least allegedly wasn't a very mass produced product compared to standard Blu-rays and standard DVD releases and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. So it says here, this steel book was made from Optimum Home Entertainment. I'm not really sure if they distributed the other versions. I don't think they did, but I guess they're the ones who distributed this overseas, at least this steelbook. Uh, again, let me know in the comments if you guys know more about that than I do. I'll be very grateful. Here's the interior spine. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Very cool. It's two discs. There's how it looks as soon as you open it up. There's a little postcard thing. Uh, advertising win optimum DVDs. That's what that looks like. Here's the back. PO boxes in London. Very cool. There's the image from the inner tray. And let's see what the quality of these discs are. If they're scratched or blemished or anything. So this disc has some minor scratches and blemishes, but nothing that looks like it'll affect the playability of the disc. No disc rot, just some minor, minor scratches, but again, nothing that should really affect the watchability. Not that I'll really be watching this because I already own it on so many other formats, but again, i rather own something you can play if you want versus something that's all scratched to hell that you can't really play at all. Same with the second disc, it's not as scratched, but there's some minor scratches, minor blemishes, but nothing that's really going to impede the watchability of it. So this is the bonus disc, and this is the feature film. Very cool. And here is the image on the second tray, or inner door, whatever you want to call it, with the aforementioned iconic zombie right there. Very cool release. Um, I think this might be blasphemous, but I think the Walmart edition looks a little bit cooler. But the novelty of owning this version is very cool. 
because again it's sort of rare you don't really see these versions over here in the states and i want to know i want to own as much diary of the dead content as possible and this is weird enough to really belong on the shelves next to the others so i'm very happy with this release very happy with the price point i got for it uh, very quick shipping and all in all a very good buying experience there's nothing really wrong with the steelbook besides some minor minor scratches and blemishes but that's expected with something this old so with all that said thanks for watching go watch diary of the dead and i will see you guys next time mm -hmm.